I got me a truck, a trailer, and a chainsaw. Stay back, I got a chainsaw. In zero dollars, can we go from zero to 100 million? Let's find out. Well, hello and welcome back in everybody. This is episode 14 on our journey from zero to $100 million on hard economy. This has been quite a bit of a journey. Now, I believe I'm ready to go ahead and plow up our very first field. Yes, very first field. And this is going to be pretty big. I don't know. I don't like to do things on a small scale. <laughs> <laughs> so let's go ahead and plow up the land between two roads here off to the left and right all the way down to the road at the end there and there's a little bit of a road behind me if you may have missed that in the last episode but yeah quite a bit of land here big old rock in the way but it's cool we'll go around it we don't have a plow though and we don't have enough money to buy the plow i want so let's look at that here is the plow i would like the sm82 it's got a large width on it 26 meters requires 370 horsepower well we got that that's why i went ahead and got the upgraded engine on that tractor spent all that extra money because i knew eventually i would need that extra horsepower power for something like this. This is $87,800. Not enough money. We got $61,000. We'll go ahead and lease that for now. Eventually, I'll probably buy it, but we'll lease it for $4,477. Hey, look at that. Got delivered here to the farm for a little fee of $114. Now, of course, and it's still going with some weird colors the best I can. And this green color, man, I think of it as something else. <laughs> I don't like this green color. It looks something nasty. But hey, oh well, let's go ahead and go with it. Got this green color and some blue rims. We're going to get out of here. We're going to plow up the big old field now. Well, I do not like this right here. It says the frozen ground is damaging your plow. If y'all haven't ever seen this before, this is from the rain paint mod. And in the top right there, I'll make it a little bit bigger for y'all or a lot of bit bigger. I don't know. You can see the damage is just going up fast. Very, very fast. Oh, but the positive of a damaged plow being 100% damaged is it still works and there's no negative effect to it being damaged that's a great thing right the downside is it's going to cost a lot of money to repair eventually but let me go ahead and get this field knocked out real quick with this completely damaged plow because wow that number is still going up and it's going up fast all done with the plowing here and i am flying over this pretty fast but you might be able to maybe tell there are some very tiny tiny rocks on the field and those rocks are really going to bother me so let's go ahead and get those picked up because i grew up out in the country picking up rocks all the time so i don't know maybe there's a little uh childhood trauma there or we can call it hard work but let's get down from this nice flyover in our drone and look at getting something to pick up those stones and this is what i'm gonna go with for the stone picker and it does look a lot like the other one i have that picks up the grass and everything but i've tested that before it does not pick up stones out of the ground it will pick up stones if they're dumped on the ground but not out of the ground so it's gonna have a 1 million liter capacity it's gonna cost fifty thousand dollars now i do have enough money to buy that but i'm gonna lease it and there's a reason for that and we'll see that reason here in just a little bit let's go ahead and lease that for two thousand five hundred and fifty dollars and here's the reason i went ahead and leased it this is on sale in the sales item for some percentage off maybe 30 40 50 percent off don't know but it's 190 horsepower and i think this will do the job for something i want to do now i am not forgetting i have that other john deere but it won't do the job for what i want it to do so we'll go ahead and buy this for sixty thousand eight hundred fourteen got a few upgrades on there don't know if i need them but oh well we got them we got nine thousand nine hundred and twenty three dollars left and i would love to get that crone mower right there and that might give you a hint of what i am planting in that field got stone picker here and of course crazy colors crazy colors that's or weird colors i don't know crazy weird i don't know maybe y'all like it i'm just picking a bunch of random stuff i'm clicking on random ones but hey right here is where some little tiny stones are they are so small i could probably roll them down but i'd like to pick up the stones because i'd like to eventually turn them into something from a production and i'm also not going to do this field myself that's why i got the other tractor like i did say i'm not going to do this myself i am going to hire a worker and it is going to drain through my money quite a bit here i mean these wages for workers on hard economy is not the smartest thing to do but i got other work i want to do so trying to multitask there and get a lot done in a little bit of time because i do have it on five times speed and it is going faster than i normally go and this is what i want the other tractor for now i do own some land that has some trees i need to remove and that's the ones right over there in the background i need to get those removed and right over there by those boulders i need to get those removed too because that's where i'm going to start building all my storage areas for my farm yard i am starting to get equipment for farming but i got nowhere to put it yet so why not go ahead and work on this while the rocks are being picked up on the other field and if the rocks get done you know what maybe i'll hire a worker to do something else and i know i can't buy the next thing with four thousand dollars though so we'll see how i'm gonna make that money got everything cleared out over there that i wanted to get cleared out now i believe i'm ready to start putting in some sheds but definitely don't have the money for that while i was waiting for that worker to get done picking up stones i was over here grabbing some trees dumping them inside the storage let's see how much we got in there right now we're at 165,000 liters now i don't really need to do that right now but 
but the thing is I want to go ahead and try to get this land over here cleared out so I can purchase it and start planting more trees because I realize I'm skipping all these months just time passing time passing and hey what can be happening while the time is passing and that one thing that could be happening well one of the things that could be happening is trees growing so I need to hurry up and get some trees planted over there that way I don't waste my months missing out on that opportunity so I'm gonna go around the edges touch up because I'm sure this worker did not get all the edges perfectly well at least I don't think he did or she I'm not sure looks like only a little bit was missed maybe I got like 10 more liters of rocks added to that not bad I guess it's better than nothing right hey look at that wage payments 223 coming out uh, I don't know how I feel about all these wage payments I can disable that but I'm not gonna do that it's part of the game right leaving the wage payments in there but 5,556 liters of stones uh, really hoping for more but they were very small stones maybe this will add up eventually and i can use them for something like lime production and speaking of lime production that's our next step to the field before i can do the lime production though i need to buy the soil samples and now that i look at all these soil samples i have to buy wow i just realized i might not have enough money here well that's only 262 dollars. that's not bad why not let me buy the soil sample oh i think i gotta back out and come back in that's the issue yeah let me do that real quick and here we go i can actually buy the soil samples now Ooh, almost five thousand dollars for that one let's see what this one is seventy three hundred oh Oh man, hopefully I got enough money here. Don't know. 3,400. I think I can actually go into the negative, but 787. Uh, geez, a lot of money there. We got the silty clay and the loam. Loom, loam, loam. I think it's loam. Somebody did tell me that it's loam like Rome because I kept calling a loom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense, right? I need to make some more money so I can actually apply the line. So let's go ahead and pick up all the wood chips I have and get them sold. There's 643,000 here. That is pretty nice. That should be a good amount of money. It's not going to be enough to maybe purchase the equipment I need, but it will be enough to lease it because I got to remember to buy the lime. I can't lease the lime. <laughs> That'd be nice. You know what? Maybe I can if it's in a pallet form. Huh. Loophole. Nah, but let's go get this sold. There we go. Hopefully that was enough. And oh wow, I'm starting to get an environmental score reward. That's 57,661 plus the 1,297. Now my little money thing up there is going to change a little bit. It's going to have a little plus in there and give you the grand total of what both those were because I don't know what it is that quick with math. But I will know in the editing, so and y'all will get to see what the grand total is. I forgot all about that environmental score. It has been so long since I have seen that thing. And this is what I'm going to go with for spreading the lime. This is going to cost me $40,250. Now it's kind of up in there. Hey, should I buy it? And I'm kind of leaning towards the no right now. Let's go ahead and lease it for $2,052. Also need somewhere to purchase my lime and other products. So I'm going to put this in right here for now. Multi-fruit buying station for $2,500. Don't know if it's going to stay there. I'm kind of planning out this whole area over here for my sheds and my silos and other stuff. Kind of in my mind a little bit. So I doubt this is going to stay there. I did try to continue that crazy color look I've been kind of going with. Got a brown frame red rims bluish color thing on the back there and i did stick with some white because that's usually what i do for lime to identify it easily it's going to be a white body or a white cover now the cover is actually like a beige color but it does kind of look white see right there that's beige that's not white right maybe i don't know Oh well, let's go ahead and get this set up on a course play over on the field. Yes, course play. I'm not going to do this myself. That did cost $4,218 for all that lime. Not bad now that I think about it. That seems really cheap. But the reason I'm not going to do this myself is because I'm going to continue to clear out those trees, start making more room over there. That way I can be one step closer to planting trees. And plus, I don't want to do the field work myself. I'm kind of lazy. Now it is actually going to go through this pretty fast. At least I think it will. I mean, usually the first application with precision farming, either, either lime or fertilizer, it goes through it pretty fast. Oh well, I'm going to let it go while I go over there, take care of the trees, and then I'll see y'all in a second, probably whenever it runs out. You know what? I just realized I do not have time to go over there and work on that tree removal stuff I was talking about because I have to go to the gym, unfortunately. Well, I'm not that healthy. I'm trying to get back into it. Jeez. I don't know. Something about bad health. My wife wants me to live forever. Uh, oh, well. I guess I better listen to her. And of course, after the gym, I got to go pick the kids up from school. But hey, I really want to thank y'all so much for stopping in and watching. Really do appreciate it. If y'all haven't already, please make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. If y'all got any tips, tricks, or suggestions, feel free to leave them down in the comment section because they are always welcome and very much appreciate it. And until next time, y'all take care.